In this video we continue with the Spring Authorization Server. You can follow all the videos via the link in the upper right corner. Today we are going to configure a custom authorization grant type. We start with the code from the previous video. You can follow this video with the link in the upper right corner. First we update the Maven POM XML file. There are two updates. Spring Boot Starter is now up to version 3.0.2 and Spring Security OAuth 2 Authorization Server now has version 1.0.1. .1. To configure a custom authorization grant type, we need two new classes. Authentication Converter and an Authentication Provider. The first class is the JWT Bearer Grant Authentication Converter. This implements the Authentication Converter interface. In this class, we need to override one method. Convert. In this method, we check if the grant type is correct, if the assertion is correct, and if the scope is correct. If everything is correct, we create a new JWT Bearer Grant Authentication Token. In the following class, here we create a new authentication token with the assertion, client principle, scopes, and the additional parameters. The last new class is the JWT Bearer Grant Authentication Provider. This implements the Authentication Provider interface. The class has two overrides authenticate and supports. The authenticate method first looks if the authorization and the registered client are correct. If everything is correct, the access token is composed and generated. If there is an error, an error code is generated in the get authenticated client else throw invalid client method. To test the custom authorization grant tag, we created a JUnit test class. In this test, we have first created an access token with the client credentials authorization grant type. Then we create an access token with the JWT bearer authorization grant type. In this test, the first access token is passed as an assertion OAuth2 parameter name. And we get a new access token with different scopes. Finally, we are going to run the JWT bearer grant tests. After we start the test, we see in the console the results of the test. First, we get the access token of the client credentials authorization grant type. Then the access token of the Curtum JWT bearer authorization grant type. This was it for this video. Thanks for supporting our channel by subscribing.